What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Go Mouth, and today I have fried food, y'all. Yes, y'all. I know. I've been. I told y'all I've been trying to eat right, but today I just had to have it. Fish is the only food I allow my husband to fry. So today, um, for we we got fried fish, um, shrimp, and. I got a hush puppy. I didn't get a lot, y'all. And I got a salad. See, I still try to make a better choice because I could have had some french fries. And I got some strawberries and grapes. Got some more of my grapes. And y'all see, I made a better choice because I could have had french fries and what else, what else they got? Rice. They got some rice. So, I didn't get any of that. So, um... I am well, I'm hungry, y'all. I don't want my fish to get cold. Y'all yeah, already know how fried fish is cold. Mm -mm. I'm not the one. So, anyways, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and say my grace because I'm hungry. Okay, got scraped, got a good love. Thank you for my food. <laughs> love my hands, you're my best friend. Thank you, love my daily bread. Amen. Lord, please let this food be pure and clean and nourishing for my body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen, y'all. Lord, look, Lord, Lord, thank you for all my subscribers and everybody who watched me on this channel. I appreciate them so much, Lord, and I hope that you bless them in, in many, many ways, God. Okay, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right. Okay, y'all. So, I'm ready to eat my fish, y'all. Look, I got to figure out how to get my table set up, situated. Okay, I'm, I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. I'm still new. Y'all, I ain't got no... My husband got tartar sauce, but I don't eat tartar sauce. So, I got some Chick-fil-A sauce, y'all. <laughs> Look, some of the extra packets of Chick-fil-A sauce. So, I say, hmm, I'm going to try to dip my fish in it and see what it tastes like. I have a salad here. It got some um, tomatoes cut up in it with, um, I have Italian, wishbone Italian dressing. I don't know what that tastes like. I ain't never had that one before. But it had less calories than the ranch. That one only got nine. That the ranch had like 160. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try that one. And I got some, um, oh, right, here they go right here. These craisins to put in my salad. Y'all ever had these um craisins before? I'm, I'm going to drop a few of these in my salad, y'all. That make the salad a little, a little extra. Mm, mm, mm. And these are the strawberry flavored craisins. I don't know how they got strawberry flavor on them, y'all, but I'm not finna ask nobody, so. They they actually taste pretty good. Put them strawberry flavored craisins in there. And I like to snack on these just because, and, you know, just because they're good without anything. So, and y'all, I got my water. Got my water, 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 all the way full to the top. Um, I already drunk, I already drunk my water for the day. Mm. And I got my hot sauce somewhere. Hang on my hot sauce over here. My hot sauce over here, y'all. So as y'all can see, I made a good choice by having strawberries and, uh, uh, I don't know why I can't think of the name of them, but strawberries and, uh, grapes. Yeah. And then I had a side salad, so that's that's good enough for me <laughs> we are hey, we ain't through with me yet y'all mm. mm. the um this fish right here is called sway or sway or sway i think it's called sway that make more sense to me i mean i don't know how you pronounce it but yeah i, I got to put my hot sauce on it got to put my hot sauce on it and um put the extra hot sauce in the back y'all so to balance this unhealthiness <laughs> fried fish out, I call myself, got me a good old salad right here, you know, some veggies and fruit. That worked on it, y'all. It ain't all bad. Mm. Man, sway fish is, I can't even explain it, y'all. So good so good if you ain't got the sway fish from walmart that's where i got these from walmart and the um i don't even know why i opened this chick-fil-a sauce because honey this hot sauce did that all the justice it need mm. Mm. hallelujah yes it did let me try it in there anyway i don't know i feel chick-fil-a sauce is good on chicken mm. Make it a little sweet. Actually, it tastes pretty good. 
It reminds me of like honey mustard or whatever. And I could eat honey mustard on a lot of stuff. This is good actually. Mm. Y'all told me y'all wanted me to do story time in the last video, but honey, this food too good. I might not be able to talk, huh? Mmm. Listen. I don't even know if fish go with strawberries and grapes. But it do today. It do today, honey. Okay, y'all want me to do a story time. So, I forgot. Oh, my God. Somebody said talk about my tomboy experiences and growing up being a tomboy. I am going to go. I forgot exactly what y'all wanted me to say. Talk about a couple's channel that I watch on YouTube. I just read that, but I don't see where it's at. I don't see where it's at. Mmm. Um, T. McLeod. Talk about a uh, couple. I don't watch no couples, do I? Them young children. Um, Carmen and Corey. I watch them every now and again. I keep up, you know. I'm getting old, but they're entertaining a little bit. And, um, I like them. They're pretty cool for, for a young a young, for, to be so young, they doing really good on YouTube. Well, her puppy, y'all. Mm. Oh, I forgot to mention. All this fried food was fried by my husband. I don't fry nothing. I ain't never fried nothing since I... I, I ain't never fried nothing since I've been in this house. I ain't fried nothing in years on my own. Like, I don't think so. If I did, I can't remember. I can't remember. It, oh, my God. These are probably bought from Walmart. Um, and my husband does really good with his fried fish too. Like, I don't even know what kind of child. But they already made it. He just dropped them in the grease when he dropped do the fish. Oh, it'll be so good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I see why the mukbang be eating bad. Because it tastes so good, y'all. It tastes so good to do something so bad. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy the moment. I stop acting, acting crazy so I can eat my good stuff, okay? Mmm. I was tasting this fish. I don't even want it. <laughs> Jesus be a fence. Hallelujah. Mm -mm. Y'all got to get y'all some suede fish from Walmart. It is so good. And these shrimp, these was a large shrimp from Walmart as well. I'm going to dip this in the Chick-fil-A sauce. I don't like tartar sauce. And I don't have no marinara sauce. Uh, I think that's what you call it. Uh, whatever that sauce is, you dip in here, that red sauce. So I'm going to dip this in the Chick-fil-A sauce. Yeah, when I get my shrimp, mm, I'm trying to eat the heat on the inside of the thing, man. Y'all, when I buy my shrimp at the show, I like for my shrimp to be um already peeled and deveined. No legs on them or all that. That freaks me all the way out. Like, I be feeling like I'm eating a roach or something. <laughs> I did say they see roaches or whatever, but y'all, it's so good. But okay, cool. Be that, but don't be on my food when I eat it. Okay, I've been eating shrimp for years, my whole life. It's good, but I'm not gonna eat it with the legs on. It just I don't know. But I like crab legs. I don't like shrimp legs. <laughs> That's weird, huh? They both come out to see. Why don't you eat the shrimp legs? No. Mm-mm. And I'm here. I'm dipping in some hot sauce, y'all. Oh, my God. It's too good. I'm hungry today. 
I already got this dressing. I know this salad look clean, but it's not. Like I said, I got um, what is it called, child? Italian. I ain't never had this this um salad dressing. It might be. Hopefully, it got some taste to it, child. I don't know. Give me a good old tomatoes or something up in there. It's hot. The only thing I like about having the cranberries on the salad is because you don't get them in your bite. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, that's good. Why y'all didn't tell me? Oh my God, that's good. That's real good. Ooh. Tomato. I just started eating tomatoes within this last year. For real. Mmm. This is good. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm like tripping. Keep telling it's good. It's so freaking good, y'all. This is just that bag of lettuce at um that bag salad at Walmart. I got a little um some baby. Uh, I think got cherry tomatoes and I cut them up. I didn't put the whole tomato in there because I don't like to bite into the whole tomato. I cut it up in like three pieces and I dropped them in there. Mmm. I made my salad bigger than this because I thought I was gonna um not gonna eat it all, and then I put some of the lettuce back. But um, look like I'm gonna eat it all. Got to get some of them cranberries in my bite. I hate eating with a fork, y'all. I don't like eating with no fork. Oh my bad. I can't say fork. <laughs> For poopy, I have to say fork. Okay, fork. But I don't like you with a fork at the end of the day. It didn't even poke with my lettuce or nothing. So I'm just pretty much sure that it is with a spoon. Mmm. I got to hold up that inward. I'm not going to eat the saddle with my hand. Dang. Big old strawberry. Look at that strawberry. How red it is. Can I dip it in some Chick-fil-A sauce? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Good and sweet. Y'all, we might have to do story time next time. I'm going to get into it, though. I forgot what story was going to be back. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Child, I'm about to be like Bumper Stewart time. I'm trying to eat. I'm trying to eat. Mm. Oh, T. Hey, T. McLeod. Um, I was. That's what I was responding to your question about the couples channel. That I watch on YouTube. I only I think I watch Gabe and Babe. They're they're a couple. I don't watch them every day, but they are daily vloggers and I love them with their little kid. They just had a little baby girl. And that's that's who I watch the most. That's who I have watched on YouTube the most. I've been watching them for years and I love them. Um Corey, Carmen and Corey, like I said. Um I wasn't watching them because they're so young. But, um, one day I looked up Alabama YouTubers. You know, I'm trying to find somebody I can, you know, find in Alabama. But then I discovered them. And, you know, they got like millions of subscribers. They ain't, they ain't stuck me, so. Uh, my tag was shaking. They ain't stuck me. I'm trying to find me somebody I could collab with. I could meet or something in Alabama. But. 
I ended up finding Carmen and Cora with millions of subscribers, so they didn't stop me. But anyway, the channel was interesting, and I started watching them. You know, she had a baby and all of that. Damn. So, that's how I pretty much found them. And other, other, other people I watched, there was a couple. Who else is a couple? I mean, Miss B Love and Nate, they're a couple, but they're not a couple channel. They're a mukbang channel, and sometimes they come on as a couple. Prince and P and Rayshawn, they're they a couple. Um, they, they're like a mukbang channel slash whatever they feel like doing challenge channel with their crazy self. I watch them. Um, I don't know. I don't do too much of watching YouTube like a couple. I like to watch hair tutorials. I like I love to watch hair tutorials. I like to watch... Um, um, I used to like watching makeup, but I don't, I don't care about watching makeup no more because I used to watch that a lot back in the day, but, um, what I do love to watch on YouTube is Nina Bonina Brown, is that, that, I guess he's a transgender, or he might just be a man that just like to wear makeup, but he does just like fascinating makeup, he would turn himself into a whole snake, or he would turn himself into a cloud, or a lizard, or whatever, out there that you think you can turn yourself into as far as an animal, he can turn himself into one with makeup and it's so cool. I like that one. And his name Nina Benina Brown. Um I don't watch him all the time, but every time we see him like he got an exotic um video. I like to watch him. I'm like, how he do that? That's pretty cool. Pretty neat because it's just a talent, you know, I like that. Um, I really can't think of no other couples. I'm pretty sure there's some couples out there that I watch occasionally, but I don't, I'm not really interested. Oh, I watch um, Uriah and what's his name? Um, you know, occasionally with Mimi and the baby, um, London. I watch them. And you know what's crazy? She just found out she was pregnant. I was wondering if that was a prank because she just had all kind of booty surgery and belly surgery to get her body snatched and then she pregnant? Oh my god, four months later, I would have been like, no ma'am. All that, I would have got my two ties in the midst of getting all that surgery, honey, to make sure that I just finna last all that money. Mm -mm. But, either way, she's finna have her baby. And hopefully, they say hopefully it's a boy this time, but... Hey, I'd have been mad. My feelings would have been hurt. Look at this. Look at this strawberry, y'all. Look at the strawberry. Oh my God! You just, <sighs> ooh, chat. I don't eat the like the top of the strawberry. I like to peel that part off. You know the stem. Don't nobody eat that, do? No, make it look like that. But this joker. Ooh, what you dip strawberries in and eat them with this healthy? You can't dip strawberries in nothing because you gonna have to be some whipped cream or some chocolate. Mmm. Chocolate. Oh my god. Mm -mm. One time when I went back to visit back home in Florida, there's this girl that she made the best chocolate covered strawberries I ever had in my life. But I, we ain't gonna talk about that now because it's just too much fat, ain't it? Mmm. It be so good though. This strawberry is so good, y'all. Mm. Oh, I got smoke. I got plenty of y'all questions. Yes, y'all. I'm not going to answer all these questions in one mukbang. I got to spread these out, y'all, because y'all gave me some good topics to talk about, some good story times. I know I done been talking forever and I ain't did a story time yet. So, um,. Who talking about I'm gonna eat you to put some bacon on that plate? What was I eating? Oh, my egg, <laughs> my omelet. Who that is? Ashley Woodford. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. I I was trying. I had some sausage in the omelet though, for real. Mmm. Um. Vivi, you crazy talking about green tea taste like burnt water. Okay, y'all. Y'all have some story time. Lord have mercy. Okay, y'all. I'm going to keep saying that. My strawberry is so good, I can't get it. 
Even the top part is good. Thank you, Mary Daniels. She really enjoyed my video. So, y'all so sweet. Nina Theo. Thank you, Nina. She said, I saw you coming on Patrick and Be it's Patrick Star and Beloved Mukbang. So, I tapped on you and I actually like your videos. I'm a new subscriber. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, Tasha. Okay, Tasha um, asked two questions in one, but I'm going to answer one because the other one we're going to say that for another video, okay? Um... What made you get into cosmetology? I'm gonna talk about that. What made me get into cosmetology? Um, when I was little, I was a tomboy. So I grew up with a ponytail 99%, 99.9% .9 of the time. Once I got to a certain age, well, my mama said, um, I gotta do my own hair. It was pretty much in middle school by the time i got in middle school my mom was, was like um she wasn't doing my hair no more you know wasn't no more barrettes and bows and stuff so when you get in middle school nobody don't want no barrettes and bows so my mama didn't do it like she used to do it in elementary so it was up to me to do so the only thing i knew how to do was a ponytail all i knew how to do was a ponytail and i was a tomboy so it fitted my persona wasn't even no persona it was just me being a kid back then we didn't have like gay and lesbian all that stuff type in the school we didn't we were just being children now you're being labeled if you look like a tomboy you just automatically gay to the i'm talking about to the kids as far as the kids are concerned we were just tomboys we just like to play adults probably saw it differently but nobody never told me um but either way I used to wear my hair in a ponytail all the time. So my mama used to say, I'm so tired of that ponytail. That's all you know how to do with that ponytail. You need to stop wearing that ponytail all the time. You're going to break your hair. I mean, my hair was breaking off and just had it. That's all I knew how to do with the ponytail. That's it. So the jerry curl was out back then. Okay. Everybody and their mama had a jerry curl, right? Okay. So my mama told me if I catch you with that ponytail one more time, you go get a Jerry Curl. Girl, you know somebody didn't want no Jerry Curl. Honey, I didn't know how to do no more hair. I didn't know nothing. I still had my little one more time. I knew how to brush it and put the little ponytail thing on it and go to school. That's it. I know how to put grease on the hair. I didn't grease my scalp. I just put grease on my hand, did it like that, and rub it across my head and put it in the ponytail. That was it. That's all I knew how to do. I mean, what she expected? I was in the bushes catching fireflies. And we were pulling apart love bugs and playing marbles and hopscotch and all that stuff. So, hair was not on my to-do list. I never liked baby dolls. I remember for Christmas, one time my mama got me a baby doll. I tore that thing head off, arms and legs. And I got two sisters, and she got them a baby doll, and they loved baby doll. They used to drag their baby doll everywhere. I used to hate that. I said, why? Why do I need a baby doll? Mm. When I tell you this here, set this here sway off, this sway fish, baby. So I hated baby dolls. My sister them used to braid up the hair and all kind of stuff. Have popes, popes, and baby dolls, and I used to hate baby dolls' goods. So anyway, long story short, my mama caught me with that ponytail again. I mean, I wasn't trying to hide with the ponytail. I just put my ponytail and go to school. And she said, that's it. I'm taking you to get a jerry curl. You you going to call Robert right now. Dude, name was Robert who put the jerry curl in my hair. My mama had a jerry curl at the time. So she already knew who was in it do my hair or whatever. My mama got me a Jerry Curl. I was so hurt. I had no choice. I was a kid, but I, I got a Jerry Curl in my head. And I was so hurt because back then, at that time, um, most of the kids had Jerry Curls except me. I just had my hair, regular nappy, natural hair, and a ponytail. And that was it. And I would straighten it out. My, no, my mama would straighten it out with the straightening comb on the stove. And so... 
she got me that Jerry Curl. When I tell you I was hurt for a whole, I think I was in the seventh grade. When I got that Jerry Curl. I was in the sixth grade, I didn't have it. So the seventh grade, I got that Jerry Curl. I was hurt for that whole school year. I ain't know what to do with my hair. I started wearing headbands like Rocky. I was still a tall boy. Then she made me put on her ugly earrings, her church earrings. When it was time to take school pictures, but I still would have my headband at school. So I would wear my, I, I used to watch Rocky all the time when I was little. Y'all remember Rocky Bad Boy when he um when he did the the boxing one, the punching, the fighting one, you know. And um he would always have that headband on. So I took to that. He, I was always I thought I was Rocky Child. I would always had my headband, and that's just the look that I had. That was popular back then to myself, child. Wasn't nobody else looking like that but me. Um, and um, I like MC Hammer. I, MC Hammer was out then. Can't touch this. So I admired MC Hammer's glasses. So my mama took me to go to uh, to get my glasses. I went to pick the biggest glasses in the Medicaid box, child. And uh, Medicaid box, yes. Cause they, 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 you couldn't get your glasses off the wall. You can only get your glasses out this box thing. They was like, I was like, ooh, I want those, I want those, I want those. And then they was like, no, your glasses here. And I'm like, she pulled this box out of the drawer with a whole bunch of old looking glasses in it. And I'm like, Ugh. so I ended up wearing glasses and I'm still a tomboy. So I never like did girly stuff. I never wore dresses. I, I don't have pictures of myself in dresses I do if I think I got one and like when my mama dressed us up for church you talk about somebody used to be mad my mama actually used to sew and she used to make our Easter dresses and our Christmas dresses when we had Easter speeches and Christmas speeches y'all I grew up in the church so we had a dress for every uh black history month show Easter sh Easter speech day and all of that stuff so uh I, I went through a lot of dresses in my ears of little girl um until so anyway people used to say oh she gonna be i used to hear grown people not young people you can hear you know you be right i'm grown folk and you can hear them talking they don't care about talking in front of you oh she gonna be gay when she grew up i be like what what the heck is gay what's gay i didn't even know what gay was then y'all so um Then once I discovered what it was, I'm like, what? I don't like girls. I knew I didn't like no doggone girls. I like boys. I ain't, I ain't even like no boys. I ain't like nobody at the time. But girls was definitely like, uh uh. I knew that wasn't going to happen. And I was only, I was, I was 12, 13 years old. And the grown people used to say that. And I'm like, why, why are you saying that? The grown ups won't let me be great, y'all. I was just being a kid. But to this day, I'm still a tomboy. Me and the high heels don't get along. I grew up and I got children and I got married. I never liked a girl. I have a problem with y'all who do. But I, I, I never did. That was never my thing. But life growing up with my brother was kind of crazy. And that's probably one of the reasons why I was led into being a tomboy because I was I was raised with my little brother. And my daddy, it was either him play with the baby dolls or me play with the four wheelers because we had four wheelers coming up. And because we live in the in the hood, so we could ride four wheelers up and down the street. We were some spoiler kids. Um. So. My bro my daddy was not about to have my brother play with no baby dolls. Um, even though I wasn't playing with no baby dolls. So we made, it was just me and my brother. I did what he did. It was pretty much that. I did whatever he did. And he was my little brother. But it was like he was my big brother because I followed him. So so that's that's that. That's how that became about. And my little, my brother is like my best friend. Like for real, for real. I'm in the whole wide world. So... And we still could rock and roll together right now. But. Y'all, we, um. That was my life, y'all. I don't regret being a tomboy. I'm comfortable with being that way. 
I'm comfortable with tennis shoes on. I'm comfortable with, with being comfortable in my skin, you know, because I don't have to worry about being extra bougie. I did go through a phase where I started buying purses and stuff to be girly and bought dresses and stuff. I even went through a phase like that last year when I was going through chemo and radiation, like when my husband um, was coming back and forth when I was living at the, uh, at the council center. I told my husband, like, when I'm done with all my treatment, I was going to start wearing dresses again. So I went out and got me a couple of dresses. Child, I be wearing them dresses to bed for nightgowns, okay? I don't wear no dresses. <laughs> once I got better and started feeling okay in my head again, I was sick when I bought my dresses. So once I started feeling better, I looked at them dresses and I was like, I went around the house. I will not go outside to them dresses. It just, it just not. I just do not feel comfortable. Even when I go to church, I wear pants. I really wear pants. I went to Bible study the other day, y'all. I went to Bible study Wednesday night with my grandma. She's my Alabama grandma. But I enjoyed myself. That was my first time going to church since I've been in Alabama. And I've been here almost four years now. Um, she be inviting me to church a lot. And I told her, you know, I was raised in the church. I'm not scared to go to church. She she thought I wasn't going to go. And I'm like, yeah, if you, if, let me know when you want me to go. And I'll go. You know, I'm not going to force myself to be like, hey, can you take me to church or whatever? Because I, I don't. But, but okay, y'all. But <laughs> the church was full of old people. I was the only young person there. I guess I would consider myself young compared to 80-year-old people that was there in Bible study, which was cool. The pastor looked like he was about 50. The members looked like they was in the 80s. So 75 up to 80 years old that was at Bible study. Mind you, this was Bible study. I haven't went to regular church yet, but I'm going to go to regular church. Um, but anyway, it was good to be in the house of the Lord. You hear me? It was good to be there. And um, it, was a, it was a breath of fresh air because I've been going, just being home with the babies and, and, and the kids and stuff, all of that. And it just started driving me nuts. I'm tired to get on my nerves, y'all. But, yeah, going to church was nice. We we read the book of um, Acts, chapter 20, verses 1 through 26. So, if y'all want to go ahead and read that, you... <laughs> That's what we did in Bible study. So, I don't, I don't think I'm going next week, though, but... It was good to get out and go. Even though I didn't have fun, but I didn't go there to have fun. I went there to learn. And it was alright. It wasn't no church that I'm used to. But it was still church, you know. Church is church. As long as it's church. <laughs> mm. So that was a good experience. I don't know how I got over here because I was supposed to be talking about growing up a tomboy. And yes, I had on pants at church. I know. It's some religions that say, oh, you got to wear a dress. Because I got this one friend. And, oh, she, well, I don't know what kind of Christian she is. But I think she's a Christian. And they believe in women are supposed to wear pants ever. Because I ain't never seen her wear a pair of pants on in my whole life. She was raised up like that. We, we was raised together. Same school. With religious neighbors, um, but I ain't never seen her with a pair of pants on or shorts or nothing. She always wears skirts, dresses, long dresses, long skirts. Mm. So I would hate to be oof, bad. Whatever it is, that is, I can't do it. Somebody gonna have to teach me how to sit, squat, all that kind of good stuff. Mm. When I tell y'all this is some good food, you hear me? This is some good food. And I like it because it was cooked at home. My husband fried this fish in some, um, I think, Louisiana fish fry batter. So, just in case anybody was wondering. And those shrimp I had for another mukbang. That I'm still gonna do, but I just threw a, a couple of them in the in the fry at the last minute. I know y'all hear that baby hollering. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'll wait till I get my life together next month, okay? I'm gonna be posting so many videos, I'll be like, dang girl, you happy now? Show is, mm hmm. Show is. Look at this strawberry, y'all. Oh, I look good. 
Oh my God. Coco. Coco just screaming. Y'all, please forgive me. It's going to get greater later. That annoys my soul. You know hear I me? Mean? <laughs> I'm tired of babies. I done had mine. And when I had my babies, I wasn't in the house with my mama. I got out and I ain't never went back. I left my house, my mama's house when I was 17. And I never looked back. Well, I looked back. <laughs> That's all I did was look. I was 17. I was 18. I left my mama house when I was 18. I never look back. I sure ain't finna look back now. Mm -mm. Child, listen. I ate all my fruit. Gone. About to eat all my fish too. Oh my god. This was one of the one of the best mukbang I done had. This salad was on point. But I love my husband fried fish. I love, love, love my husband fried fish. Um Y'all yeah, told me don't eat tilapia no more, so I don't switch to sway. Because we used to eat tilapia. And a lot of y'all said, don't eat the tilapia because from, I don't know, some, some, something. So now we eat the sway. So hopefully that'll still be alright in the name of Jesus. Because the government be messing with folk food, even the healthy food. There ain't nothing to say. Let us be contaminated. I'm talking about Jesus. Look at here, I'm about to get this bowl and go to town because this salad, this fault will let me be great, y'all. Look, I can't even. Mmm. Mmm. This one of the best salads I don't have. And I think it's because of that salad dressing. I'm so used to ranch, y'all, that I don't change up my salad dressings often. So I'ma tell y'all the truth why I got the why I got the um the Italian dressing because I would be I'm real self conscious when I do these mukbang because I don't like my mouth to be like gross because <laughs> I don't like my mouth to be gross, but. The reason why I didn't get the ranch is because white stuff all around my mouth. No, 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 ma'am. Oh, this is so good right here. I'm eating all my food. I can't believe it. Mm. so good that if y'all don't have put cranberries in y'all salad y'all need to try it it gives your salad that extra kick I can get a little bite of sweetness within your dresser within your salad Coco gonna make noise my whole video, y'all. Mmm. <laughs> I'm fat hungry pig right now. Fat hungry pig. My Instagram just beat me to me. Not cars and banks just posted a, a video. I love him. That's my daily dose of laughs. Mmm. Y'all, I'm eating all my food. I can't believe it. Like, wow. Last time I had food left, I'm hungry though, too. I didn't eat. Um, well, I did eat lunch. I ate breakfast and lunch. You know what? I'm thinking. 
Well, I'm eating this. Is this food so good I'm excited about eating it and stuff? Is that what fried foods do to you? Is that what bad foods do to your brain? Make you excited and happy about eating it? So you can eat more? And then you become fat? <laughs> I'm just wondering because it's so good, y'all. I'm just wondering because this food made me a whole life. But I ate my salad. I ate my strawberries and my grapes, so I am very happy about that. At least I got that in. Ooh, y'all. Ooh, child. Yes, y'all. If y'all still here, comment story time below again. I know I told y'all that in the last video, but comment story time to again. On YouTube or whatever. Just comment story time. Let me know if y'all want to know the story time. This is Y'all gave me some good ideas on the story time last time so i appreciate y'all thank y'all so much if y'all got any more story time ideas please let me know and i'm gonna try my best to start earlier talking about my story time instead of eating back for about 20 minutes and then talking about that food was so good honey y'all see it was good i ate it all ain't nothing left i got my water here i need to finish this though mm. oh lord baby crying listen y'all let me go get this baby. Okay, y'all. So, I didn't get the baby, but I got the big baby. And she ain't the one that was crying hi. in my video. Look, Nivia. Tell everybody hi. Hi. Say hi, everybody. Hi, What's that? That's a piece of grape. We can't eat that. Fool, I'll go and bye-bye. Don't worry, y'all. I already fed her before I did in the video. So, I'm just coming to tell. See, this, this is what I go through, y'all. See? All day. All day long. Between her... And Coco, I'm about to go crazy, and I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, now you want to eat. Now you want to eat my raisins. Yeah. Now you want to tell everybody hi? Come here. Say hi, everybody, again. Hi, again. Hi, again. Say, my name is Nivia. Nivia. And how old are you? Mom. Uh, okay, y'all. Yeah. Whatever. Okay, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please leave some story time videos below. Um... I'm going to be writing these down so that way I don't have to be like going through my phone on the video and all of that good stuff, child. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching, child. I'm going to go get my nerves got on a little bit more. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll holler at y'all later. Bye. <laughs> oh, my God. Here. Oh, child.